Hello and good morning from beautiful Strasbourg, France, and welcome to Simply Greg EV. Today we're going to head out on a bit of a European road trip with our rental BMW iX40 that we picked up from 6th in Geneva. We're going to do our usual, we're going to hit up some cool charging sites, we're going to see some cool villages along the way, hopefully, and um, well, of course we'll take it up on the Autobahn. So stick with us, sit back and enjoy what EV driving is like here in Europe. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to get a 2500 kilo SUV out of a European parking garage. All right, we have made it to the car. Pretty standard car park. It's actually very nice. All right, let's get set up and we pull this thing out. crossed into Germany, we're at an Aral charging point. These are Aral Pulse. These are Alpitronic hyperchargers. I think these are, these are the Hypercharger 300, actually. Uh, we're gonna charge up here probably about 80% 80, 80 I made a mistake by not plugging in at the uh, parking garage only because it was about a 20 minute walk from our hotel and I didn't want to have to walk to unplug the car and move it and it was also quite expensive. I think 70 euro cents a, a kilowatt hour. So we're just gonna stop here, have our coffee and the charge up and uh, then we'll continue we'll uh, hit the autobahn and we'll go up to uh, baden baden but this is a pretty nice site you have uh, two chargers there's two ccs per charger one chatamo the ix actually looks quite good here with this color scheme your standard alpitronic unit very popular a lot of alpitronics in uh, europe they are a european company we have proper amenities we have our paper towels garbage can screen wash water everything you need yeah this is uh i wish we had more of this back at home but we don't all right let's get stopped here we're good enough we'll stop the charge let's unplug come on there we go unplugged We'll put this back into here. Again, these covers are awesome. These are really nice. All right, let's get on the road to Baden Baden.
we're just about to leave uh, Baden Baden as you saw in the um, little bit of filming I did it's uh, quite a uh, picturesque town I think this is a place we that uh, we would come back and stay um, here on up uh, coming up here on uh, the Autobahn this tops out at 200 I don't think I really want to go much faster than something that weighs over 5,000 pounds uh, yeah but it was great it was a uh, stable brakes are fantastic on it uh, handling handling coming on that on-ramp was uh, pretty interesting uh, like, well you really feel the weight of it um, at those speeds you, I was consuming through uh, quite the large amounts of uh, onboard energy let's just say Here in Germany, the roads are extremely smooth. A lot of people say that they aren't as smooth as they used to be, but where we live, these roads are absolutely smooth as glass. I don't like that it's actually that quiet. Um, it does tend to get a bit um, tiring because it, it, it's, it, I can't explain it. It's, it's like you're almost relaxing in, in your bed just before dozing off. There's a couple settings that you could change what uh, background noise it plays. Uh, I suggest using one of those to try to keep you awake or drink lots of coffee. I'm not saying it's a boring car, I'm just saying it's so well insulated and it's so quiet that it almost feels like you're in your bed. Um, I also don't like, it doesn't have a particularly good charging curve. We went to charge it this morning. Mind you, it was on a cold battery, higher state of charge, around 40% state of charge. And it was only hitting, I think it only hit 80, 80 kilowatts max. And then it really tapered down to like uh, 55, 60 kilowatts. And this, car, this, this has a 76 kilowatt hour battery. And 90, sorry, and 71 of that is um, usable. So, so again, not an extremely big battery. This is a very heavy vehicle, um, huge frontal area. If you're gonna do proper Autobahn speeds, it really obliterates the uh, battery. I remember last year we were here with the Model 3 standard range, and it was much more efficient at higher speeds than this. I mean, that's, that's a given considering what this is, but, uh, Impressive on, on the driving side and comfort side, not so impressed with the efficiency side of things. We made it to a uh, version 2 Tesla supercharger, charging up the iX. Um, the Autobahn uh, blasting uh, is really killing the uh, battery really quickly. We're, we're, we're lucky to have found this one. We're kind of in a charger black hole. Um, actually went to a NBV site and I couldn't initiate a charge. I couldn't download the app on my um, phone because it's registered in Canada and the payment system where you could put the uh, dispenser ID in also wasn't working. And yeah, that's why I don't like charge cards, especially off of autobahns and highways and motorways. Just give a credit card payment system. It is so much easier. But yeah, we'll charge up here and we'll uh, head back out on the uh, road. Well, we are plugging away pretty good here. 138 kilowatts at the version 2 Tesla supercharger. That's about half full and I'm blocking a stall. But yeah, it all seems to be going good here. There's a uh, Model 3 from Norway. But yeah, all good over here. Happy to have the supercharging network open. It was really helpful on this trip. Just hit 80%. Plug that back in. 
forget to mention that this has the old Type 2 connector on it as well. We'll all close back up. Again, I like, I don't like this. I love these charging port flaps. We'll close that up. I'll head back inside. This is actually quite a busy uh, location. A lot of people are charging. Hold on, let me grab the door. I'll jump back in. I set the charge to 80%. It's doing its thing. So that charge, we got uh, 55 kilowatt hours of energy. It costs about 30 euros. Um, one of the more expensive charges that uh, that we've had here, but uh, considering I came in at uh, I think 11 or 12 percent state of charge and we're at 80, fairly reasonable pricing. Again, Tesla, super easy to use. You come to Europe, zero issues charging cars here. Um, nothing to deal with, no charging cards or anything like that. Open the app, plug the car in, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, busy location, nice location. Next door to McDonald's, turnover here is high. Uh, we're gonna head back into uh, Strasbourg now. We're gonna go via scenic route. I don't wanna get back on the Autobahn. I know this is weird coming from me. Greg doesn't wanna go on the Autobahn, but it's just so stuffed up with traffic these days and uh, it's a bit tiring. So we're gonna head back on the uh, road less traveled back to uh, Strasbourg and we'll uh, check in along the way. Right, just about to head out. We have, I have a cappuccino. Laura, I think has just a regular Americano and we're going to head out here from the supercharger and take the back roads to Strasbourg. scenic roads just to get off the autobahn as i mentioned earlier it was uh, pretty pretty heavy with traffic and um, when there's an accident on a german autobahn it's generally not good and uh, to be honest i kind of don't want to be part of that so better take the smooth relaxing roads in the relaxing xi we're actually in relaxation mode there's a bit of um music coming through the uh, speaker, some nice relaxing, calming tones. But no, all is good here. Everything is good, super comfortable like always. Um, yeah, just good things to say. A couple bad things, but we'll save that in the review, but uh, generally positive. This is a pretty, pretty cool SUV. Maybe just a bit on the heavy side though. You really feel the uh, weight. We just got back to our hotel now. Uh, we hope you enjoyed watching our um, little day trip, uh, our little EV day trip, including the um, interesting parking job I had to do here in Strasbourg to fit the gigantic SUV, which was probably not the best decision to rent on this trip for staying in this area. But uh, yeah, it seems to work out good. Uh, yeah, back at the hotel. Hope you enjoyed watching and uh, have a good night.